everybody, Susie Q here, Q Aquatics. And today we're gonna to check out my package that just came in the mail. It should be four adorable little hatchling turtles. Let's go take a look. So look what I got and from where I got it. Does everybody see that? And it's to Susie Q, and it says, Live Turtle, handle with loving care. And I will. Let's see what we have. I already opened the box so that I could get them out. Oh. Before we open them, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got lots of pages and papers. Oh, warning, protected by attack turtle. Oh my gosh, I love this. That's that. I got a free sample of blood worms for baby turtles, which I have blood worms, but this is very kind. Free sample of premium turtle food. Let's see what it says. So it says it finds it best to feed your turtle outside of his home. And it'll put a lot less stress on your turtle tank filter. Awesome. Because I'm going to assume they're very messy eaters. So I'm going to have a special home where they eat. Full room temperature water. Okay, and I'll add two to four turtle pellets to the water. And then see if they eat them in the next 10 minutes. Oh, this is gonna be good. Always wash your hands after handling a turtle. This is premium turtle food. It doesn't tell me what the ingredients are. Then I have red ear sliders, which are Trachymus scripta elegans. I can't wait to see what they look like. And 10% off my next, 10% off my next order. <laughs> so I'm gonna see Two of these babies with little red ears. They're gonna have a peacock. So let's take a look. Oh, there's one more. My turtle is smarter than your honor roll student. Oh my gosh, this is so going on my Jeep. One more thing. Ah, oh, the card. With feeding instructions, okay. I got two red ear sliders, which I'm very excited for when they're grown up, they're gonna be in my pond. There should be one more. Got something here. One peacock slider. I fell in love with this one. Okay, so before we open them, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got lots of pages and papers. Oh, warning, protected by attack turtle. Oh my gosh, I love this. That's that. I got a free sample of blood worms for baby turtles, which I have blood worms, but this is very kind. Free sample of premium turtle food. Let's see what it says. So it says it finds it best to feed your turtle outside of his home. And it'll put a lot less stress on your turtle tank filter. Awesome. Because I'm going to assume they're very messy eaters. So I'm going to have a special home where they eat. Full room temperature water. 
Okay, and I'll add two to four turtle pellets to the water. And then see if they eat them in the next 10 minutes. Oh, this is gonna be good. Always wash your hands after handling a turtle. This is premium turtle food. It doesn't tell me what the ingredients are. Then I have red ear sliders, which are Trachymus Scripta Elegans. I can't wait to see what they look like. And 10% off my next, 10% off my next order. <laughs> so I'm gonna see two of these babies with little red ears, which I see in all the pet stores, but they're four inches or more. I gotta have a peacock and one Eastern painted. So let's take a look. Oh, there's one more. My turtle is smarter than your honor roll student. Oh my gosh, this is so going on my Jeep. One more thing. Oh, the card with feeding instructions. Okay. So let me show you what food I use. So in my life, I'm a very big ingredient reader. I have some, I'll just say food allergies. It's more like an eating disorder, but I read ingredients. I read at least the first six ingredients on everything. I do the same for my fish. So when I couldn't find any turtle pellets in the store that didn't begin with, you know, terrestrial foods, I got worried, but then I found Omega One. Let's see if I can concentrate on this. If not, I'll just read it. Where the first ingredient is whole salmon. The next ingredient is whole herring. The next ingredient is black cod. Like, so I look at ingredients. To me, the only time I'm gonna feed terrestrial ingredients is, is to my koi when it's getting colder out, when I feed them less and less, when they're going to sleep for the winter. But I am not hibernating these turtles until I've had them for at least a year because I don't know how to hibernate a turtle. This is so stinking exciting. Let's take a look at the turtles. Let's start with the peacock slider, okay? Oh my goodness. So here is the peacock slider shell. Look how beautiful they look like little peacock eyes. Let's see what he looks like underneath. Oh, beautiful. That's like his own little fingerprint. So this is one of my sliders. It's not a red ear slider, but it's a peacock. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now let's take a look at my Eastern Painted, is that, yeah, Eastern Painted. Can you see her? Oh, probably him. Oh, look at his underside, he's so gorgeous. I put you back. Oh, this is beautiful. So this is an Eastern Painted, which my state mandates that I can only own one of them, which is okay. And my last one is two red ear sliders. I can't wait to see these guys. I see them in the store all the time. Here's one, but there's no red ear. And my last one is two red ear sliders. I can't wait. Here's one, but there's no red ear. He's got yellow ears. I wonder if they develop into red ears. I'll be doing a species spotlight on each of those. Oh, look how gorgeous. Oh, wow, he's a little lighter in color. Beautiful, beautiful. But he doesn't have red ears either. Oh, very pretty. He kind of has reddish ears, you see this? Let me see if you can focus. So I'm assuming the red comes in later. He's got orangish ears. He's my orangish ear slider. These are my two red ear sliders. I gotta take care of these. Oh, he's definitely got red ears. 
This one doesn't. But I'm sure he's a red ear slider. Beautiful. Now these get bigger, they're like dinner plates. These are gonna be my outside pond turtles. I'm building their enclosure now around the pond so they can't get out. Hey babies. So those are my new turtles and I am stinking excited. Okay, so here's their temporary. This is where I'm gonna feed them. There's lots of rocks in here for her to get up. I'm going to build the land area over here. Got a little filter. I'm going to get a better filter. And there's one of the sliders. And then there's the peacock. Beautiful. There's my eastern painted. And then there's <laughs> see the little tiny guy. Hey, little slider hiding under there. I think he thinks we can't see him, but that's okay. So this is a 38 gallon tub that I'm gonna build the whole land area over here so they can get up into. The only thing I have to worry about now is two-legged predators. Thanks for checking out my video, guys. Thanks.